Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to drop a shadow in Photoshop. So basically prior to dropping a shadow you really need uh, the object or the person that you're looking to drop a shadow on. You need them separated from their background. As you can see here my two models are actually separate from their background and this car here is actually just the background that I added and uh, this image I actually created in uh, Photoshop and I actually have a video on YouTube showing you how I did it and towards the end of this video I will have a link there that you can click on to see this video so if you do not know how to remove backgrounds from images uh, simply watch that video but for now let's continue with this tutorial so basically what I want to do here is I first want to duplicate my layer I'm actually going to duplicate my female model as well as my male model. Note that if you're dropping a shadow on just one person or one object, you obviously just need to uh, duplicate that one layer. So simply right click and left click on duplicate layer. And now I'm going to right click and left click on duplicate layer on my male model here. And I'll simply drag my layer here with the male model beneath my layer with the female model. And now I'm actually going to merge these two layers together so that I don't have to drop shadows on each of these uh, people individually. Instead I can just uh, drop one shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layer, merge down. Obviously if you have just one object or one uh, person in it, you do not have to worry about merging layers or anything like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on this layer and make sure that it's selected like so. And I'm going to go to FX here and I'm going to left click on color overlay and now what I'll do is I'll simply uh, fill in with black and well what I'm actually going to do in this case is I'm going to fill in with this color here because this is the color of my shadow underneath the car and I'll click on OK and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit transform and skew and now when you click on this square here in the middle and you uh, drag left or you drag right, you can decide on which uh, direction you want your uh, shadow to point in. In my case, I want my shadow to point right. So I'm simply going to leave it there. And now I'm simply going to hold my left mouse button down here on the left and drag and hold my left mouse button here on the right and drag. And I'm simply going to move my shadow down a bit so that it looks more natural because you know if I would have left it the way it was it would have been too large of a shadow and it would have reached all the way over here and a shadow in fact only reaches on the ground so it would be somewhere like around here so I simply need to resize my shadow so that it seems well proportioned like so and now when I'm happy with the result I'm simply going to click on the check mark for the changes to take effect like so. And now I'm simply going to drag this layer underneath my layer here with my male model and my female model so that the shadow looks like it's behind them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And what this does is it actually takes away those fine edges and it actually blurs them out and it looks more like a real shadow. So you can uh, choose whatever radius you feel looks right. See, I still want a lot of the details to be seen like right here, but I, want, I don't want it to be really fine because, you know, shadows aren't all sharp and edgy. And then I'll simply click on OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my layer here and I'm going to left click on Add Layer Mask here. It's the rectangle with the circle in the middle. So now what I'll do is I'll make sure that this white rectangle is selected like so. And I'm going to make sure that my foreground color is black. And I'll make sure that my background color is white like so. And now what I'll do is I'll simply select the gradient tool here. And I'll simply make sure that I have foreground to background selected here. And then what I'll do is I'll place my cursor right here and I'll press my left mouse button and hold it down while dragging. And then when I let go, I have that faded effect and it looks more like a real shadow. Now if you'd like to make this uh, shadow a bit lighter, you can simply adjust the opacity like so. And you can decide on how dark you want it to be.
So basically, that's that. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.